just wanted to go through a quick um, sort of import tutorial just to condense it down um, into a nice quick session for you. So um, as you know, Luminar can be used as a standalone program. This is useful for people that don't want to, you know, pay for the Lightroom and the Adobe subscription, uh, and they might just want to have Luminar 4 as a standalone program. Uh, you can also use it as a plugin, so you could use it with Lightroom and Photoshop, and you can export images from Lightroom into Luminar for an edit, so maybe replacing a sky or doing a photo, um, a portrait retouch. Uh, let's get started then. So the first thing we're going to look at is editing a single image. So um, to do this, uh, what you do is you just simply click up here on the plus uh, and you go choose a single image and we go edit single image and then you would navigate to a folder. So this is remembering the folder that I've done previously. But, you know, if I've got a folder on the desktop here, um, I could choose um, I've got one here called test files. There you go. In fact, go and look at Luminar Edit. So click on one of those, go and find an image, and that image would come into Luminar, and we could edit that single image. Okay, so that's a single image edit. But what if we kind of want to bring a whole folder into Luminar? Well, we can do that as well. So the way to do that is we click on plus, and this time instead of single image, we choose add folder with images and um, again what so what we need to do now is we would navigate to that folder uh, in fact I'll tell you what let's use the clouds when we've got the clouds on uh, you can double click of course uh, now again you can either drill down if you need to or you can just select the folder and that will now import that folder so you can see we have the whole folder and down here now on the right in the library module uh, you can see uh, that we have those folders okay and there's the cloud pack so that's how to import from a single image from your computer or how to import um, from uh, a whole folder so the other option that you might want is to, you've kind of you've been on holiday or you've been out for the day and you've taken some images and you want to put those images from an SD card onto Luminar uh, without going through Lightroom. We can do that, but it is slightly different to the system that it works in uh, in Lightroom. So in Lightroom, if you remember what you would do is you would put your memory card in, you would click on import and you would nominate a destination. Now in Luminar, it's quite different. You have to nominate a destination first and then import into that destination. So the way we do that is we go here to uh, where the folders and we click on plus. And now we navigate to our pictures folder. And in the pictures folder, we need to create a new folder. So click on new folder and we would call this um, whatever you want to call it. But I mean, if you're going to base it on the file structure that we sort of suggest in, um, in Lightroom, then we'll go 2020 dash and uh, the month 09 dash. These were actually taken yesterday. So I'll just do uh, 25 and I'll just call it Luminar. In fact, I tell you what, let's keep it short. L4 import just um, just for purposes. And then I can delete this folder afterwards. You need to select that folder. So here it is. See 2020-09-25 L4 import and select folder. Here we now have a greyed out folder. It's greyed out because there's nothing in there at the moment. Again, similar to um, uh, Lightroom. And we need to import into that folder. So to do that, we go file import images to folder and now this is going to ask us where those images are and we click on browse and you is where you would navigate to your uh, camera you say your sd card or whatever and you can see here that you can do that and again you can drill down or you can just select folder and that will that'll get there in the end OK, so you can see here in my case it's coming from the F drive. Obviously on a Mac, it would might be the name of your card or your camera or whatever. But this is where it's coming from. Then it says where they are going to. And by default, this will be the last folder you created. So it's this folder here that is grayed out. And th then we get options so we can choose other folders if we want to, if you've got existing folders. But um, there you go. We're going to pop it in this one we've just created. 
Now, the next option is to copy or move images. Now, I never recommend moving images. I always copy images. That way, if anything goes wrong, I can import that card again. Uh, if you move images, then they will come from the card or from the folder and they will get deleted because you're moving them from one location to another. And I'm always really cautious about that. Um, you just don't want, I don't want to risk anybody losing any images. Then we have organize. And again, this is similar to Lightroom. And again, we choose the same option. So we can choose the existing file structure, in which case it would come up with DCM and then the name of the camera. Um, we can choose a year, month, day or year, month. I wouldn't choose any of those. The one I would choose exactly like in Lightroom is uh, into one folder. And again, just like in Lightroom, you've got this include subfolders and you need to ensure that that box is ticked. So the next thing, simply click on import. And this, um, depending on the size of your folder, obviously it might take a while, but there you go, they're all in there. These were just some quick snaps yesterday just to give you a test folder to play with. And that is it, they are there. And then of course you can double click on them and move through them and edit them and various bits and pieces. Okay, so the, now the benefit of doing this way is you do get the original raw files um, and you can see here they are NEF files. Now. That, of course, means they have not been converted to DNGs, which would happen if you were in uh, Lightroom. So just keep in mind, if you're like me and prefer DNG files, if you use this method, your files will stay as the original raw files. What if you prefer to have your pictures come in as DNGs and you still, like me, prefer to use Lightroom? Well, the good news is, we can do that too. Now, the way we would do that is we would add the folder, first of all, into Lightroom. So if I just bring Lightroom up for you, I've actually already done that. I have a folder here, there you go. It's um, just to help um, not get them confused. I called this one, the date was the 26th and it's called Misty. So this folder here is has been imported into Lightroom in the normal way so you know just exactly how we'd normally import into Lightroom and what I want to do is I want to find where this is on my file system so to do that the easiest way is to right click and choose show in explorer obviously on a mac that would be show in finder this now brings up my file structure and I'm going to open this folder and here is what's called the path to this folder. So it's on my PC, work, pictures, and there's Misty. And so what I need to do is I need to copy this address. And to do that, that's quite simple. You just click and it will be highlighted. Now, I'm not sure if this is exactly the same on the Mac. Perhaps if somebody knows, they could tell me. But basically, you need to find the path. Now, that, I think that might be a case of pressing uh, Command I, I think, uh, to get the info up there. But you need to find the path. Now, once you've found the path, you need to copy the path. So just right click and choose copy. That's it. You can close that folder now. Now we go back to Luminar and we say add a folder with images. So we click on that. And then the simplest thing to do is just click at the top here in the address bar, right click, choose paste. There's the folder. There's the uh, description, select folder, and those images will come in. Now, obviously, they're the same images as uh, this one here. OK, they're the same pictures, but it was just a different method of getting them in. Now, the difference is if we actually look at these pictures, these were the pictures that came from Lightroom. Now, just one thing to note, guys. So, um, so if we just look at the folder structure here, so uh, we, even though we have the same images, you can see here that this folder was the one that we imported directly into Luminar 4. So it says here, Luminar 4 import, uh, just to help us remember that. And if I look at the file information for this picture here, so bring up an info, you can see that the picture is an NEF file. That is because Luminar does not convert to DNG. 
But of course, when we bring our pictures into Lightroom, then the pictures get converted to DNG. So if you remember what we just did is we then we went into our folder structure and we picked up the folder structure from Lightroom. And so here's the here's the folder that came in from Lightroom. OK, and if I look at the information for this image, you can see that this is a DNG image because, of course, Lightroom converted that folder. So. If you kind of, my advice would be if you've got Lightroom, then import your images into Lightroom. If you want to import a single image, then use the um, single image method to uh, import that sort of image from Lightroom. Or you could go into Lightroom and you could choose export from there. So let's just have a quick look at that, the difference between that. So here I am in Lightroom. There we go. Let's probably have that one, shall we? Yeah, that's not too bad. So I haven't edited this at all. And what we want to do is we want to take this in to Luminar to edit. So I'm going to right click and I'm going to go edit, edit in Luminar 4. And here's the difference. When it goes to Luminar 4, it is edit a copy with Lightroom adjustment. Now, I haven't adjusted this at all. So I'm just going to go edit. And there's the TIFF it's created. It's opening Luminar 4. Now, this is an interesting quirk, actually. It opens another Luminar 4 window. First time this happened, I was a bit surprised thinking what's going on here. It's already open, but there is a difference. And that difference is this button here that says apply. If you open directly from within Luminar 4, this does not exist. So let's just edit this picture. Let's just bring up the AI Enhance. And as always, it does quite a nice job. There's no sky in this, so that's not going to work. And we'll just um, let's have a look at the light. Let's bring the, ex the shadows up a touch. Load a bit. There we go. And uh, let's add a little bit of structure, a bit of sharpness, shall we? And of course, we could nip in there and do a crop. Use the original ratio. Flip that around. I'm not going to spend ages editing this, folks. Uh, it's just really for sort of uh, these purposes. There we go. And apply. So notice here we're clicking on done. So there you go. There's a really quick edit. And now I want to get that back into Lightroom. So I click on apply. So here we are back in uh, Lightroom uh, with the Luminar edit. So there we go, folks. So that showed you how to import a single image, how to import a folder, how to import from an SD card. Remember on that one, you have to create a folder first, a destination folder, and also how to export from within Lightroom and also import that picture back into Lightroom. So I hope that's helped. Um, thanks very much for your time and I'll see you again shortly. All the best. Bye bye.